Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you solve the following problem which says Find the zero of the polynomial in each of the following cases. So first let us learn what is the zero of the polynomial. Suppose we have any polynomial Px. Then, x is equal to c, where c is any number, is called the zero of px if p of c is equal to zero. So, this is our key idea with the help of which we will find the zero of the above given linear equations. Let us now start with the solution. And the first one is Px is equal to x plus 5. Now here we are required to find the 0 of Px. That is 0 of Px implies the value of x such that when x is replaced by the value p that the value of this polynomial comes out to be 0. So, for that, we will substitute px is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0, which further implies x is equal to minus 5. And so, x is equal to minus 5 is a 0 of Px. Since on replacing x by minus 5, we get the value of the polynomial Px as 0. So, x is equal to minus 5 is the 0 of Px. So, this completes the first part. Now, proceeding on to the second part, where Px is equal to x minus 5. Again, here we need to find the 0 of Px, that is, the value of x such that on substituting the value of x, the value of the polynomial comes out to be 0. So to get that value of x, we will solve px is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0 which further implies that x is equal to 5. Thus on replacing x by 5, in this equation, we get the value of the polynomial as 0. Hence, x is equal to 5. There's a 0 of the given polynomial px, which is equal to x minus 5. Now, proceeding on to the third part, which is px is equal to 2x plus 5. Again, to find the value of x, such that on replacing it by x, we get the value of the polynomial as 0, we will have to solve px is equal to 0, or this implies that 2x plus 5 is equal to 0, or 2x is equal to minus 5, or x is equal to Dividing both sides by 2, which further gives 2 cancels out with 2, or we have x is equal to minus 5 upon 2. Hence, x is equal to minus 5 upon 2 is the 0 of px. Since on replacing x by minus 5 by 2, in the polynomial px, we get its value as 0. So, this completes the third part. And now, proceeding on to the fourth part, where px is equal to 3x minus 2. Again, here we need to find the value of x, such that when x is replaced by the value, the value of the polynomial comes out to be 0. So, for that, we will solve
px is equal to 0 or px is 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now on adding 2 both sides we get 3x is equal to 2 or now dividing both sides by 3 to get the value of x we get x is equal to 2 upon 3 since 3 is the common factor of the numerator and denominator. Hence x is equal to 2 upon 3 is the zero of the given polynomial which is 3x minus 2. So this completes the fourth part and now proceeding on to the fifth one where px is equal to 3x. Now here we need to find the value of x such that on replacing x by its value the value of the polynomial comes out to be 0. So we need to solve px is equal to 0. Or px is equal to 3x. So 3x is equal to 0. Now I am dividing both the left hand side and the right hand side by 3. We get 3x upon 3 is equal to 0 upon 3. Or 3 cancels out with 3. We have x is equal to 0 upon 3 which is equal to 0. Hence x is equal to 0 is the 0 of the given polynomial px which is equal to 3x. Now proceeding on to the 6th part. where px is equal to ax such that a is not equal to 0. Again, we need to find the value of x such that on replacing x by its value, we get the value of the polynomial as 0. So for that we will again solve px is equal to 0 and px is what? ax so this implies ax is equal to 0. Now dividing both the left hand side and right hand side by a, we have ax upon a is equal to 0 upon a. Now a cancels out with a, so we have x is equal to 0 since a is not equal to 0. And thus x is equal to 0 is the 0 of Px. This completes the sixth part. And now proceeding on to the last part, which is Px is equal to Cx plus D, where C is not equal to 0, and also C and D are real numbers. So to find the value of x such that the value of the polynomial comes 0 on replacing x by that value, we will solve px is equal to 0 and since px is equal to cx plus d, so we have cx plus d is equal to 0 or cx is equal to minus d on adding Derivative inverse of d, which is minus d on both sides, we get cx is equal to minus d. And now I am dividing both the left hand side and right hand side by c. We get, c cancels out with c, x is equal to minus d upon c. Thus on replacing, x is equal to minus d by c, in the polynomial px, we will get the value up as 0. Hence, x is equal to minus d upon c is the 0 of px, which is the given polynomial. So, this completes the last part, hence the solution. So, hope you enjoyed this session. Take care and have a good day.